productive and efficient and completely apolitical workforce is what Governor Seriake Dixon wants to leave behind at the Bayelsa State Civil Service. He expressed this desire at the swearing of Biobele Moye Charles Onyema as the substantive head of service in the state. Oviatema George brings us the rest of the story. First to be sworn in is Juliana Dapa Oguara as permanent secretary. Next to take the oath of office is Biobele Moye Colleen Charles Onyema as the substantive head of service, being the most senior in the Bayelsa State Civil Service. Governor Syriaka Dixon wants to build on the foundation of ongoing reforms in the state civil service. You are aware of the rot and the indiscipline, and that's why I've tried to ensure that civil service where merit is recognized, civil service where hard work is recognized, a civil service founded on discipline, not a civil service where people go and purchase grade levels and steps at will as it used to be. Not a civil service where people will stay at home and be collecting salaries without going to work. Not a civil service where people, one person will have work in three, four, five places. A completely apolitical workforce is what the governor wants to see even after leaving office in February 2020. Your job is to offer leadership and remind whoever is here as governor the need to treat the civil service not as, a, as an arm of a political party, but as an apolitical um, a set of bureaucrats whose neutrality and discipline and productivity are essential to the growth and development of our state. The policies are quite good. In most states, you don't even have such policies. But if we are able to implement them effectively, I'm sure we'll have a public service that is apolitical, we'll have a public service that is efficient, we'll have a public service that is effective in service delivery. Biobele Moye Charles Onyema is a former participant of the senior executive course of the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies in Kuru, Plateau State. Ovietime George, TVC News, Yenagoa.